What is going on guys, Sensation Live here and welcome you guys back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can download the hacked Pokemon Go app onto your phone. And this is going to be for iPhone but you can also do it for Android as well. So what you want to do is head over to Google and you want to go to 22app.vip. This website here, now this will allow you to download it to your iPhone straight away. There is a VIP version, here's the iOS, <clears throat> and here's the Android version. I don't condone using spoofing apps, but I'm just doing this purely as a tutorial to show you guys that it does work still. So if you go onto iOS, what you gotta do is just click that download button. You can go onto the free one here, click download, and what that'll do is, it'll just go straight onto your phone, <laughs> pretty much. You click install there, and it'll put it on. I've already got it on my phone though. Now, once it's been installed, you wanna go to settings, and come to general scroll down to profile and device management and it will be in here and instead of it saying delete apps it will say verify there click verify and then it will just it will say agree or disagree click agree that will allow you to then open up this tutu app where is he there he is so you open up the tutu app now a little trailer of play just click off that bad boy now Oh, there's a new version. Okay, well, we're just gonna leave that one for the minute. <clears throat> so once you've downloaded that, you can basically, this is like a app store, pretty much. It's an app store. Uh, what you wanna do is, I think, is this the one that I use? Nope, this is the one that I use. So this is the one that I use, Pokemon Go Hack version 1.27.3, it's the latest version. They always update it straight away. And it seems like there's actually an update. So I'm gonna update this one. If you can't install Pokemon, you can refer a friend. Yep, I know. So this is actually gonna update it for me, so I'll actually be able to show you guys the update right now in real time. It shouldn't take too long at all. And I'm on, uh, I can't remember what flavor it was now. Pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple G Fuel. Ooh. So we just let this one install. It literally should not take you guys very long. Probably 10 minutes a year time just to get this on here properly. And there you go. Install. And that should be there. There we go. Loading. Beautiful. Fingers crossed. It goes on okay. So now I might have to try a different one. Because there's like three different versions that you can try. There we go. But this one seems to be alright. This should be my favorite one. <laughs> um, we just click on it, and it should just load up just like the normal Pokemon Go app. It basically is the normal Pokemon Go app, um, but it just overrides the mechanism that tells you location. So that's all it does, guys. Oh, click off that. So here we go. There will be an advert. That's just how they make their money. And just click off those ads. They will not pop up again now for the rest of the game. <clears throat> Let this load in. Hopefully it picks up GPS signal. And it's not picking up GPS signal, just give it a minute. If not, we'll close out and we'll restart. Let's close out and restart. We'll close all this down. And oh, try again. The one on the bottom left there that you can see that's just my normal one. So you can still keep your normal one on your phone. You don't have to have the hacked one all the time. Advert, just get rid of that. There we go. We're in properly now. No problems whatsoever. Now the location that I'm in at the minute is in. Uh, let me have a look because I actually named it where I am. Uh, Santa Monica Pier in uh, Los Angeles. And it's a pretty good computer. And um, with this, what you can do is you can have like the little joystick down here, and you can just walk around. Uh, you can tap up to run. Oh, I just clicked on Pokemon back, so let me just run away a minute. Uh, so if you open up this menu here, you can go home. That home button on the top left, that will take you to where you are right now. 
okay? If you do the teleport, you can teleport to any coordinate. Then the next one along, you can walk, run, or drive. So if you do the drive and pull down, which would be south on the compass, if you look at the compass on the top, that's what way you're going to go, okay? So obviously if I pull off it this way, it'll go that way. And normally at the end of this pier is a beautiful spawn cluster. Let's see if we can get a nice little beautiful spawn cluster to appear. Normally a nice spawn cluster should come in. Uh, the rocker basically just changes this. So you can either just pull left and right with that. But I just prefer the wheel at the bottom. Display, I don't really touch that. There's a the spawn cluster. And then the sync data, I don't even touch it either. Now, <clears throat> a good something really good. Oh my god, it's a... Oh, I just need to get this really quick. Nope, not that. I need the lavatar. <laughs> Let me just get this one and then I'll get the lavatar. I think it's called a lavatar. Sort of a rare spawn there. Oh, come on, don't mess me around right now. Can I get it, though? Yes, there we go, right. Uh, we'll just get a pin out buried down on that bad boy. And... Oh, mate, you little bitch. There we go. So we'll get this one, and I'll show you guys the auto walk feature, which will actually hatch your eggs without you doing it. So you just click auto run and it'll just walk for you. It'll just pace north and then south and it'll vary the speed slightly as well. So now from this position here, we'll oh, party hat Pikachu. If I just go on auto run, I can just leave this on now and this will just walk. So it'll just walk probably, I mean, I've done it across the water. <laughs> it'll always walk north from whatever you click it on. So right now it's going to walk across that river and then walk back. If you've got the Go Plus on, you can actually close your phone down and it will play, play in the background and you can just press on your Go Plus to catch a Pokemon. You can still spin Pokestops. Hopefully I get close enough. <coughs> I'll show you guys that. So you can still uh, catch Pokemon and spin Pokestops as you're on this auto run feature. Now to stop the auto run, you've literally just got to move the little joystick in any direction whatsoever. As you can see right now, I'm catching Pokemon whilst it's running but i'm just gonna walk off right and we're gonna i'm trying to spin the stop there you go so as you can see it spins now guys if you accidentally teleport to somewhere do not spin a poke stop do not catch a pokemon just teleport back to this place because as soon as you teleport to a place that's too far away you'll get soft banned and you'll have to spin a poke stop 40 times to get that soft band removed so there's a little tip for you there now, I actually want to just quickly run over. Ah, mate, they've already done it. They're so quick at putting layers down in this area. I want to get a layer down on this one real fast. Oh, no, 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 no. I've <laughs> run too fast. No, someone's going to do it. I can see someone doing it. What about this one? Who did that one? Because it's got my YouTube channel on my name, so I does it as like a promotion. So if you have a look now, it says YouTube Sensation Live. <laughs> so there's a little bit of promotion there that I like to just put down on the pier. Now these are totally, like, they're constantly getting battled, these gyms. You'll always see them getting battled. But it's just a great pier, and it's always active, full of people. No matter what time of the day, there always seems to be somebody at this pier. So, yeah, the coordinates. I don't know if I'm able to show you the coordinates, actually. So if you guys can copy the coordinates. Um... Okay, so there's the coordinates. So if you just pause this video and come to this place here, the 34,000 and then the minus 118,000 or whatever it is, <coughs> come to this coordinate. And that's a really good uh, coordinate to get some really nice Pokemon. It has the Cyndaquil here, it has the Totodile, it has the Chikorita, it has the, the full shebang. Like, I'm very uh, surprised that it has like all the starter Pokemon spawn in here and it even has the Pikachus as well. And like he's just seen the Lavatar. So yeah. It's very strange that they're all there, but they are. Now, how I'm doing at the moment is I'm nearly on my way to level 35. Actually, can I collect? Oh, I can only collect one. Oh, I need to get one more gem and I'm able to get like an incense or something. Um, trying to get my run up. I've been walking quite a bit. Eggs, still got to do that one. I have caught over 70 Pokemon of Gen 2. So I've literally probably only got about 15 Gen 2 Pokemon left. Still grinding for that Togepi. I still don't have it yet. I wonder if they've updated the news tab. Nope. 216 Pokemon. 
in total. Seen 226. I've completed all my Gen 1. Uh, literally, I just need to get my hands on these few here of Gen 2. So, I'm getting there. I'm not far off. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like. Don't forget to subscribe and show your support. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. You've been amazing. I love you. Peace out.